Hey guys, welcome back. How goes the battle? Uh, today, I'm coming on here, we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do a little life update, cause I have not updated you guys in like, God knows how long. And then we're also gonna do an unboxing. So let's start with the life update first. So, so much has happened this last year. You guys know I have been like, I started my YouTube channel like last, what was it, like April or so, and didn't really get a chance to post a lot. I was in massage therapy school. So I graduated massage therapy school back in like mid-January. Woo, woo, we're done. We are now working. Oh my gosh, massage therapy school was like probably one of the hardest things I have like ever done. I felt like I was literally going through like nursing school or getting like a PhD. There is so much anatomy and things you need to know as a massage therapist. Like. I like took for granted, honestly, how much massage therapists know. I really didn't understand. I was like, oh, this is like fluff and buff, super relaxing. Someone's basically petting me for an hour. How freaking lovely. But really there's so much more deep down beyond the surface of our skin that is just so incredible. Like whole nother world, man. And I learned so much. It was amazing. And now I feel like I'm out in the world working and I'm like providing a service for people and they are like happy. Like we're fixing muscles. We're fixing bodies now. Like, oh, so that brings me to number two of awesome things that have changed. I started a new job. This job is phenomenal. It's a spa not too far from my home. I'm doing skincare, massage therapy, and nail care all there. And guys, this place is so nice. It like has brought out this joy in me that I haven't seen in a long time for my career, let me tell you. I am so happy there. Like the people there are amazing. The clients are lovely. Like, oh, I'm just like beyond stoked to be where I am right now. Like over this last year, I've just done like a 180. We went from like ground zero back on top and we're still climbing and I'm just like so thrilled. Like everything's working out. Woo, everything's working out guys. I'm so happy. Um, next thing, the New England Fishing Expo was last weekend now. Yeah, like two, two Sundays ago now. So we went, so fishing with Becca showed up, her girlfriend Lila, my friend Jessica, J. Will Fit and Fish. We all met up, drove over, and it was just like such a great experience. Like I got to meet a whole bunch of you. Like everyone was there. Jigs and Bigs podcast, Bobby Rose Beef was there. He was doing a little bit of uh, recording and stuff while we were there. Um, Sean and Andrew from 603 Bass were there. Cranked Up Custom Lures were there. Exone Lures were there. Um, who else was there? Ben's Bait and Tackle was there. We had Beast Coast was there. Paul from... Uh, different baits was there. Like, sorry if I'm missing anyone else, but there was a pickle stand and holy cow, I have never spent so much money on pickles, I think in my life. And these pickles are out of this world. I also got the spicy queens, which are olives. So good, so freaking good. And that was like, Oh, I was just so glad that they had that there. They didn't have a lot of food this year, but dang, those pickles and olives were fire. But yeah, it was unique. And then, oh yeah, Piz uh, Swim Baits from California, all the way from California came and he had his own stand. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So that was so great getting to meet a bunch of you guys. I am so excited. Like I've seen a bunch of you guys on the interweb and then getting to actually meet you guys in person, like getting to know you. It was just like so cool, such a unique experience. And some of you guys recognizing me like, oh, it just I was on cloud nine leaving there. That was like the best, such an, a fantastic expo. But um, yeah, who else was there? Fresh Baits was there. Fresh Baits was there, hooked me up with the Scorpions. I have like wanted to try these for so long. I've seen them in ads um, on Instagram, finally got my hands on them. Uh, Get Ben TV, they are such a great two guys. Holy cow, it was so awesome meeting them. That was so sick. Also, of course, you know, like I said, Beast Coast was there. They've got these four inch dirty perches now my um magic flicks you guys know how i feel about these bad larry's 
Oh, I love these. Love these, love these, love these. So yeah, the expo was mint. What else happened? Oh, Jigs and Bigs live podcast, 100th episode. Just happened Saturday night. Woo! Hood set, oh, hook set hoodlums. That is like such a tongue twister. They were all there. Um, a couple other vendors were there. So uh, Bobby Roast Beef and Sean the Fisherman put on such a great show. Myself, Fishing with Becca, and uh, Fishing with Grubs, Todd and Becca, the three of us, we did a live Ask Me Anything segment and the AMA segment. It was super cool. So when that drops on Tuesday night, you guys better go over to Jigs and Bigs podcast here on YouTube. I will link it down below. Check it out. Hit the like, hit a comment, share it. 100th episode. It was awesome over in Springfield, Mass. Such a blast. Super cool meeting a bunch of new people, new people that I can start fishing with. Everybody was so great. It was so fun. I mean, when you guys listen to it, I probably said a whole three sentences. I was freaking shaking. I have never done a live podcast or anything really in front of people like on like a small stage. Never done that. I mean, with Rick and Monster Bass, did their podcast, was with the Burley podcast not too long ago. I was like totally cool. Like it was over the internet, like over Zoom in a way. It was just like super fun. Like I love that. But being on stage, I have never had stage fright in my life. And it was a great experience. <laughs> I learned that I am terrified of standing in front of crowds like that and speaking, especially in front of like so many anglers that have been fishing so much longer than me and them asking us questions. I just was like shell shocked. Ooh, but great experience. Hopefully soon I will get on the Jigs and Bigs podcast. We'll do um, an interview privately with me. Um, that would be totally dope. We're talking about that. But otherwise, other news. I'm pretty sure that's about it for now. Wrist is doing great. I know a few uh, episodes back here on my channel, I was having some wrist issues. And I think it was just from overdoing some massage and not actually practicing correctly with proper body mechanics, but wrist is doing great. Super thrilled about that. But I guess now let's jump into the unboxing. We've got the new Monster Bass Regional Pro Series box that came up for February featuring Z-Man baits. This is such a sick box, guys. I haven't even like looked at it. I just opened it, put everything on the desk here, and I said that I would wait until we did an unboxing to actually look at everything. I'm gonna be honest, some of the things on my desk I have not seen before. That means please comment below what you think I should do with some of these baits, because I'm still a learning fisherman. So let's jump into it, because I'm seeing one of my favorite things right now. We got a nice chatter bait. Look at this fire. This is a uh, three eighths ounce. Um, so nice. This has got a nice dark kind of pumpkin to it. I'm excited to throw this. I love my chatter baits. I love them. They're fire. First one down. Love it. Second thing I see, we've got another bladed football jig. So another sort of chatter bait here. Stoked about this. I am totally comfortable with these two baits. I throw them all the time. Love to throw them in the spring and definitely in rainy conditions when the water is loud. That way this can be heard over it. The bass come up and mm, bass candy guys. So next, let's see. We've got some vivid vibration jig heads. These are new to me. I mean, they remind me of an underspin. They're just shaped different. These are one fourth ounce, so a quarter ounce. Sweet. This is in the color pearl. Pump to throw this. Looks like I can throw a few things with this. It seems to me. We've got some minnows, the deal. These are nice. These look really nice. Throw that on those. This looks like it would be a fire combo. That's awesome. This is in the color of the deal. It's a um, size three inch, six pack. These basically look like my shiners. These look exactly like my shiners that I put in the water when I'm ice fishing. So neato. Um, we also got like, another set of hooks here. These are the quarter ounce swim bait eye jig heads. These are pretty heavy. These are in the color gold. Neat, neat. 
Those will be fun to throw. We've got pearl finesse shads. These I could see myself throwing on a drop shot. These are nice and long. Let's say four inch, four inch. Basically just like my Beast Coast, about four inch. Neat. Pearl, great for dirty water. Great to throw really anytime. I love white. White is a great color. Fish like this color. And let's see, anything else I am missing? We've got goat and green pumpkin. These are little looking frogs to me. They've got small paddle tails on the ends. They've got that pumpkin color. This looks tasty for the spring. Stoked to throw this on a Texas most likely. For me, at least, that's how I would fish it. This is a four pack of 3.75 inch. Nice. These are gonna be fire in the spring. I may throw these weightless and just put them right on top of the water pop them on a uh, on a Texas rig, hide the hook, and pop it over some lily pads and through the grass. Definitely gonna be some yummy bass candy coming in for this spring in the spawn. This will be really cool. And post spawn, and post spawn. It looks like, last but not least, I've got one more thing from this box. We've got the Razor Shad Fire Craw Color Shads. These are nice. This would go really probably good on these, these jig heads too. These bladed vibrating jig heads. That would be nice. These would be good. That's what's awesome about the Monster Bass setup, these boxes. They put enough in your box that like for first time fishers, pro anglers, there's enough where you could just like, you got some hooks, you got some bait, you can throw a nice soft plastic setup going, go right out and catch the fish that you are aiming for in your local area. I love that about the Monster Bass Baits boxes. They are just set up for you to basically like take your box, go out, try those few things. Um, especially like, I'm pumped about these chatter baits. I love chatter baits. I feel like I haven't gotten enough of those, honestly. I mean, the last time, the last one I threw was a Thunder Cricket, Strike, Cring, Strike King Thunder Cricket. So I'm stoked to get two more. So when it becomes open season, open water season, open season, open water season, um, I'm gonna definitely be taking these out. Love that on my bait caster, my casting setup. Mm, mm, mm. I'm pumped, good stuff. Got some good baits from the New England Expo. This is a great, this is so great. So perfect. Down below will be my link. If you would like to purchase your Monster Bass box, you can go online, you pick out your expertise level. They will send you a box that is perfectly custom to where you're fishing, what time of the year and everything. And you get them all year round. It's a nice, awesome subscription box that is just mint, mint, mint. They've got the ice fishing box. If you are an ice fisher, go ahead, check that out. Oh, that is awesome too. There's just like so many great things that Monster Bass provides and it's all customized to you. Love it, love it, love it. But otherwise, that's basically it. So I will uh, drop some of these baits down below. You guys can check them out. I will put my links below for you to grab your Monster Bass goodies. I will put the links below to some of the things that I got from the New England Expo. Woo, yeah, that was a lot. A lot of great baits, a lot of good bass candy sitting on my desk right now. I am stoked. I am stoked. I'm like ready for this open water. The ice, I can't, I wanna say like the ice can go, but it really can't. I love ice fishing, so. I love the ice, I love the ice fishing. So soon more videos will come as I am out on the ice by myself with my friends, just out there getting after those bass and fish. So cool. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss a video again. Please leave your comments on your thoughts with some of these baits, how you would fish them, and any advice you can give to me. And yeah, that's about it. Awesome, well thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.